For the last video in our series on integers, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing integers. Now, we're going to look at both of them together because the rules that they follow are very similar. But we're going to start with multiplying. So let's take a look at our first example, negative 5 times 4. Now remember that multiplying is just addition that's repeated over and over. So negative, ti negative 5 times 4 literally means we're taking the number negative 5 and adding it 4 times. So if we add negative 5 4 times, we get negative 10, negative 15, negative 20. You'll notice 5 times 4 is 20. The only difference here is our answer is negative. Now let's see if it holds the same the other way around. 4 times negative 3. Now we could switch this and say it's negative 3 added 4 times. Or we can also say it's 4 added 3 times and made opposite because it's negative 3 times. So we'd say negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4. And that gets us negative 8, negative 12. So again, 4 times 3 is 12. There's one negative, so the answer is negative. But what happens when both of our numbers are negative? Such as this one, negative 3 times negative 2. Now, this could mean that we are doing negative 3, add it twice, but then we're adding it negative two times, so we're doing negative negative three plus negative negative three. Now if we think back to the subtraction one, when we have two negatives, those become positives. So this just becomes three plus three is six. Three times two is six, negative three times negative two is six. So this is a pattern that is always going to hold true is that notice negative times a positive is negative, positive times a negative is also negative, a negative times a negative is positive. So we can make this little table here. Positive times positive, we of course know that is positive. But when we have a positive times a negative, our answer is negative. If we switch that, our answer is negative. If we multiply two negatives, our answer goes back to being positive. So what happens if we have multiplication for three numbers? And I wrote it a little differently here. Um, we'll see multiplication sometimes is written just between parentheses with nothing in between it. But this means negative 5 times negative 2 times negative 2. From our rules, we know negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. But we still have times negative 2. From our rules again, we have 10 times negative 2 is negative 20, because a positive times a negative is negative. So our final answer with three negatives is negative 20. So when you do these, remember, multiply the numbers and then look at the signs and figure out, do the signs make the answer negative? Or do the negatives cancel and make it positive? Now let's look at division. The nice thing is division has the exact same patterns. At just as if we multiply the negative by a positive number, when we divide negative 15 by 3, this literally means how could we take negative 15 into three parts? Well, 15 can be divided into 3 with 5. Since it's negative, our answer will be negative 5. 32 divided by negative 8, we only have one negative. 32 divided by 8 is 4, and one negative tells us a negative answer. Sometimes division is not, well, often you'll find that division isn't written with a division sign, but as a fraction. So this fraction, 16 over negative 4, literally means 16 divided by negative 4. Well, the same thing, we look at our signs. A positive and a negative, our answer will be negative. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Our answer is negative 4. 
And last, what if we have two negative numbers? Just like in multiplication, those will cancel and become a positive. And then 30 divided by 5 is 6. So a negative 30 divided by negative 5 is positive 6. So if we summarize that in our table, our multiplication, we had this pattern. We have the same pattern with division. Positive divided by a positive, we already know that's positive. Positive divided by a negative is negative. Negative divided by a positive is negative. And if we have two negatives dividing, we have a positive. Now, take a moment, pause the video, and try these challenge practice problems that kind of mix some of the division and some of the multiplication. Remember your order of operations to go left to right. Uh, work on this, pause the video. Okay, hopefully you have had a chance to try these. Looking at these, number one, to start with, we have 5 times negative 1. Positive times a negative is negative, so negative 5 times negative 3. And then a negative times a negative is positive, so we get positive 15 as our answer. The second one, we have some division. 15 divided by negative 5. Positive divided by a negative is going to be negative. And 15 divided by 5 is 3, so negative 3 times negative 8. Negative times a negative is positive, and 3 times 8 is 24, so we get positive 24. And the last one, negative divided by a negative is positive, and 40 divided by 8 is 5, so we have positive 5 times... 3, positive times a positive is of course positive, 5 times 3 is also 15, just like the first one, we get positive 15. So now that you've looked at this video, done the practice, do the practice assignment, and then once you've completed all the practice assignments, you'll be ready for the assessment.